SharePoint gives you the capability to build a dynamic, ever-changing digital workplace, taking into consideration a number of different types of sites, sites that you may have had around for quite some time, like custom portals, record centers, company-wide intranet portals. It also takes into consideration things that you may have built out with partner solutions uh, for different parts of the organization. And of course, there's a number of team sites. Those grow year over year. And now with the introduction of communication sites recently, those too are also becoming prevalent in the mix of a lot of different sites that you have. And as things change, certainly adapting to how to better organize is of utmost importance. So we're introducing hub sites. Hub sites help bring together team sites and communication sites, and over time give you that capability to better organize and to also have greater visibility into what's happening with all of those sites that are associated to the hub. The most important thing with an ever-changing digital workplace is, of course, that things change. And when they do, changing the site structure and the content within it for the sake of the people to be able to find what they need within the new structure that occurs within business is of utmost importance and hub sites will give you that flexibility. Here we are on an example hub site. This is the work at Contoso Hub, running in SharePoint in Office 365. At the top, you'll see that we've got a consistent navigation element that helps me get across all associated sites. I've got a consistent theme that's in being inherited from the hub site. And if I go into one of these different sites, you'll see that the theme remains the same and the top navigation element remains here at the top. Now, if I go into something like this, a force for change, I go into a news article that's a part of the Give at Contoso, and you can see here that I'm maintaining the top navigation, I'm maintaining the theme. And if I go from this news article within one of the associated sites, and I jump back up to the work at Contoso, I can see that this news is being rolled up onto the home page. And here's that news article we were just at. But if you look at this new news layout for the hub site homepage, we're actually seeing news from across a variety of sites that have been associated to this hub. So here's a news article from Live at Contoso. Here's a new article, news article from Work at Contoso Hub. And as you see, these are being rolled up from across all the different sites that are associated to this hub. And as I scroll down the page, you'll see that I've just designed this in the way that I want to promote different sets of material different uh, videos, different PowerPoints. I'm pulling in discussions and highlighting what's happening in the CEO Yammer discussion group. As I scroll the page, you'll see that I've added a couple of different elements. I've changed the layout. I can do this across all the different sites. Uh, at the hub site homepage, I of course can do that as well. One of the new elements that you'll find with hub sites is the new sites web part. And this is going to show me very simply a list of sites that have been associated to this hub and also give me some sneak peeks of all the activity that's happening within those sites. And hope you see from a design perspective, this looks a little bit like the SharePoint home. But this is really just getting a consolidated look at all of the different sites and the site's activities being rolled up here on the hub site homepage. One of the unique elements, too, certainly is the search experience. We've scoped the search so that when you're at the hub site level, you're performing a search just across the hub itself and all of those associated sites. So if I go in and I look something specifically for benefits and I click in to see more results for benefits, it's actually going to perform a search just across the associated sites and bring back all those elements specific to benefits. The last thing that I wanted to show you is what is the experience for a site owner to associate their site to the hub site. So if I go into one of the associated sites, I'll go into the savings site. And in the upper right hand corner, if I click the gear icon, I can go into site information and as the site owner, I can choose of all of the hub sites that exist within my Office 365 tenant, there are specific ones that I'm going to give have been given permissions to be able to associate to. And as you see here, here's a list of a number of different hub sites, and it's appropriate for this particular Live at Contoso to fit under the Work at Contoso hub. So it's as easy as choosing your hub, clicking Save, and then all the benefits and the value flows through in terms of the consistent top navigation 
a consistent theme across all sites and all the elements within the site. A roll-up of news, a roll-up of site activities, and that search scoping. Now this site is a part of that search crawl that's specific to this Work at Contoso hub site and all of the associated sites. So I hope that gives you a good view of SharePoint hub sites and how they can help you organize your business both today and through change. As the business changes, so too easily can your sites, the content, and of course the people working within them can adapt and change as well.